surprise, Bethesda responded to Mick Gordon, people aren't happy, so let's take a look at each paragraph here. They start off by saying, the recent post by Mick Gordon both mischaracterized and misrepresented the team at id Software, the development of Doom Eternal, Marty Stratton, and Chad Mossholder with a one-sided and unjust account of an irreparable professional relationship. If it was not fixable before, it's definitely not now. Of course, it's going to you know show Mick's side just as the open letter two years ago showed Marty's side. I mean, each person is going to represent what they feel and how it happened, of course. So as we continue, we are aware of all the details and history in this matter and unequivocally support Marty, Chad, and the team of did software. This is saying that, hey, we know everything that happened. We were there. We are fully supporting our own team here, not Mick. We reject the distortion of the truth and selective presentation of incomplete quote-unquote facts so they see they say what mick has provided is a distortion of the truth and they reject what the facts are that he said we stand ready with full and complete documented evidence to disclose in an appropriate venue as needed so to me this sounds like hey we have a secret weapon we're not going to show you yet but we have it and if we need to use it in a court of law we will now i get that they're not going to want to put all of their legal documentation and arguments out on twitter to appease the public i get that but it's just interesting to see that they have it. And I wonder what that is, considering Mick had almost 15,000 words of documentation. Not saying that he could have left anything out or anything like that. It's possible. But I'm very curious to see what they'd have to say here. Now, this is important. The statements posted online have incited harassments and the threats of the violence against Marty, Chad, and the id Software team. Any threats or harassment directed toward members of our teams will be met with swift and appropriate action to protect their health and safety. Some may call it intimidation tactics, I just call it holding your hand, as they probably should do. And of course, as always, there are three sides to the story. Yours, mine, and the truth. There's gotta be something in the middle. This is not black and white. We need to know everything that happens before we make a true and proper judgment. We never will know everything that happens. Naturally so, that goes for any situation like this in life. I don't know, like, do you think that we're owed to know what happens, or do you think that some things are just not our business? It's a curious distinction to be able to make there, and I'm very curious to know what you think about that. Basically saying, that, hey, this stuff that was posted, arguments came from it. People got harassed. And interestingly enough, Mick said not to do that. However, people got the news, got that incitement and fire under them, and did it. Same thing happened a couple of years ago, back when the, uh, Marty in the open letter, people got mad and went out. Yeah. There's been instances in the past where the community, what we've done, is jump out and attack when we should have taken a step back and looked at it. Now, the allegations, if they've happened the way they have seemed to be, are bad, inexcusable. They're really horrible. But this is why I always say, hear the other side. Just because someone had a positive relationship with Marty doesn't mean we should go after them or Mick or anyone like that. You have to see everything here. Okay. We remain incredibly proud of its previous collaborations with Mick Gordon and ask that fans refrain from reaching conclusions based on its account, his account, and more importantly, from attacking any of the individuals mentioned on either side, including Marty, Chad, or Mick. That's what everybody's saying from the get-go because it just muddies the water and makes things a little bit trickier and harder. It's important, like I said, don't attack someone for having a positive experience meeting Marty. Don't attack Mick or anyone here. This is already a messed up enough situation. And so from everybody I've talked to, they're pretty unhappy with this response. They feel like it's it's PR move. It's not really a good actual 15,000 word response that Mick had pushing back, replying to that. So if I had to be the judge based off the information that we have today, and yes, I know I made a Thank You Marty video a year and a day ago, I would say that Mick's case is stronger based off the info we have because Bethesda's reply is a pretty corporate PR type of response. You know, I get that, that happens. But Mick's got the stronger thing here. And funny enough, he replied to their tweet with his original one saying that, hey, they ripped me off. Which is kind of funny, I think. I'd personally like to still see a more detailed response, wouldn't you? So let me know what you think in the comments. Here's my full breakdown of Mick here. Subscribe if you like this. I'll see you later.